Shea Bear 1000 here again. Today we're going to try to set up our our tent hammock again. Hammock's okay. It's got a couple little burn holes in it. I got a patch kit for that in the net. Uh, I got a new rain fly and I got some new straps. The other straps didn't didn't get burnt so but anyway I got new ones they're longer so hopefully that'll help so I'm gonna try to figure out how I can set this up I got a fire started if it don't rain it's supposed to start raining it already did once but maybe we'll sleep out here in the rain let's see Okay, so that didn't take long. I just got done with my intro. Threw a couple pieces of wood on the fire, now it's raining. I'm gonna try to keep that fire going because I wanna make some more chili. Now you guys see me do that on another video, so I'm not gonna really show too much of that. But hopefully I can keep that, get that fire going real good. It's not supposed to last long, uh, but you never know, we're in Florida, right? So then I'll try to get the get the tent the hammock tent set up for you um, I don't know I'm, I'm in the backyard I'm not over in my other campsite so hopefully I can find a couple trees that are close enough we'll go from there hang tight guys and see what we come up with gotta love the rain right well we need it but not as much as they do out west so thoughts and prayers for anyone that's out west our hearts go out to you. Okay, so this really sucks. It's really coming down. I'm underneath the umbrella here. I'm starting to get wet. Crap. My camera's starting to fog up. And my fire's going out. All right, let's give it a couple minutes and see what happens. All right, guys, so I'm back again. Um, I'm not going to be able to camp out. I could. It's I'm not afraid to camp in the rain. But the whole reason was to set this up and make sure that it get, didn't get wet if it rained. So I knew, you know, I could stay dry out in, out in, the, out in the wilderness. So, and it's wet. So if I put it up, I won't know if it got wet after I put it up or before. So you know what? I got my little Coleman stove out here. Let's just make some chili because that's what I was going to do on the fire. But, you know, um, hell, let's just make some chili. All right, now a little bit ago when it was really pouring, my camera was okay underneath this, uh, this umbrella. But when I took it in, it got soaking wet. So I had to dry it off it kept something kept coming up on the screen about this device is doesn't work on here or something like that so I don't know what happened I mean it's still working but you know Let's get this nice and warm Okay, so let's go ahead. I should get my mic, but I got my light on the top of the camera because in case I need it, you know, because it's going to be getting dark soon. It's raining and it's about seven o'clock. So, uh, okay, so let's get this heated up. I'm going to go in the house, I'm going to go get some stuff and bring it out. So hang tight guys and I'll be right back with you. Okay, I got the pan. It should be heated up pretty good. I got about a pound and a half of meat here. Sorry. I think I got my pan a little bit too hot, but it'll be alright. Yeah, and it's going to fog up the camera of course. But I gotta keep you close because it's still raining steady. If 
you guys saw my last video about the fishing thing yeah that kind of sucked right but you know it's in inevitable it's it's going to happen sooner or later now this is just to season some of the meat you know while it's cooking um then i'll put some more seasoning in it and cayenne pepper you know after we because we'll have to strain this off and then there's some good stuff here it says all purpose seasoning but what i've got in here guys is uh zatarans uh crab boil so it really it really kicks it up a notch then i got some italian seasoning over there that's for later though all right so i'm gonna let this uh i'm gonna let this get browned up then we'll strain it make sure my camera's not getting wet and i'll be back with you guys okay guys so i've got a tomato here what i usually like to do is get those canned stewed tomatoes or diced tomatoes i've got a piece of an onion here I've got some garlic here that's going to go in it I've got this setting on here to kind of because the tables not level so so I'm just gonna kind of cut these up however you want to do it this is not really a cooking show <laughs> but seeing as how I didn't get my tarp or my uh, tent set up in time my hammock tent I just figured well you know I'm gonna do something for you guys so it's Sunday night let's just hang out and see what's going on I got a how-to video uh, my sister dropped off my niece's car today she's getting ready to get her license she has her permit so it's her car my niece's car so they want Uncle Marty to see if they can figure out why the air is not working. It's blowing a little bit. Now, my brother-in-law told me his gauge, he was going to charge it, but he said his gauge said it was full. It was already full. So, um, not sure about what's going on with that. I'm going to try to charge it. There is a little filter inside that line that you can take out. It's like a little screen. But, uh, we'll see, you know, we'll see what's going on with that together. If it's not raining, I'll start on it tomorrow. We'll see if we can't, we can't diagnose it and figure out what's going on with it. So, I like big hunks of tomatoes. You guys do whatever you want, you know. Uh, I'm just going to kind of. Cause they'll cook down, you know. Whoops. Guess that knife it never needs sharpened, and I have not sharpened it yet. But it seems to me like it's a little dull, cause it used to cut through tomatoes like this with with no problems at all. But I've had this knife for three years now, and it's always done good. I mean, so I can't complain. Right now, let's check our see if our um, hamburgers getting brown. Okay, yeah, so it's getting brown. Now it don't have to be done. Like it can still be a little pink, guys, because remember we're going to simmer this. Oh, probably for about an hour, and uh, so you know it'll cook through then. Um, the reason why I just brown it a little bit at first is just to try to get most of the fat out of it and the grease. Um, some people just go ahead and put it all together and just let it cook. <coughs> they don't even brown it first because it does cook. It just leaves for, there's more grease and stuff in there. So, all right, that'll be perfect. Now I'm going to strain this out and I'll be right back with you. All right, so I got most of it green. So now what I'm going to do is, 
I'm going to add, you know, just cheapest tomato juice. Um, I'm going to add about half of this tomato juice. Then, I'm going to take some V8 juice. I'm going to put probably most of this in here. Yeah, it'll hold it all. So I'm going to put all the V8 juice in there. I think it gives it more flavor. Well, I don't think. I mean, to me it does. I mean, so. Now. Sorry about that. We're going to go ahead and everything's getting wet out here. My camera's getting wet. We're going to put our... I've got... I don't know how many clothes. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven clothes out of a big clove. You know what I mean? Um, put in whatever you like. I like a lot of garlic. You can use minced garlic. Whatever you guys want. There's a hair on there. I don't like that. Man, if I get a hair in my mouth, even if it's just like a mustache hair, oh my God. I'm sick for 15 minutes. <laughs> I just, ooh. I got one, a hair in my mouth at a restaurant once, man. I was so mad. Manager was like, dude, man, we're sorry. We're sorry. I'm like, I wasn't mad that I got a hair in it because it happens, you know. I was just mad that I got a hair in it. You know, I wasn't mad at them. It was like, look, man, you know, you can have your food for free. I'm like, look, it's not, you know, I don't want my food for free. It's just, I got a thing about, you know, having a hair in my mouth. So, all right, now, I'm going to take this off of here. Now we're going to put these in here. And then our onions. Get all that good stuff in there. Now, um, can't forget the kidney beans. I'm just going to put one can. Monkey likes a whole lot, but she's not going to be eating a lot of this because she's got, her and her mom's got to do a special, uh, they, they got to eat certain foods because of their sugar, so um, I'm only going to put one can. Uh, when I make it, when she's going to eat it, I'll put like two or three in. Okay, now, time for our seasoning. Let's put some, just some Lowry seasoned salt. And I'm going to season the hell out of this. Because some of your seasoning will cook out. Like, if you keep your seasoning in a cupboard or something up above your stove... It'll, your seasoning will lose its flavor. So try to keep that, keep your seasoning in a farther away place. Now we're going to put some uh, cayenne pepper in here. Oh yeah. There we go. I don't have any chili powder. But um, we're going to put, uh, I don't have much of this stuff. We'll, I'll just put the rest of that in there. It's just uh, Italian Perfect pinch Italian seasoning from McCormick. You know, <coughs> buy the cheapest stuff I can get. Now this is the good stuff, like I said. This is the Zatarans. All, um, doesn't take a lot, but the uh, crab oil. When I say crab oil, a lot of people think I'm saying crab oil, but I'm not, I'm saying crab boil. All right, so now, we're going to turn this up. We're going to bring it to a boil. And then we're going to simmer it for about an hour. I should have put more meat in there. I may do that. I think we're going to add some more meat. Okay, so I'm going to bring this up to a boil. Then I will turn it down to a simmer and we'll let it simmer for about an hour. Hey, you don't have to. 
<coughs> excuse me once everything's mixed together and it's hot it's it's done I mean but the longer you let it simmer at a slow simmer I think the better it tastes and it tastes better the next day so okay I'm gonna get you guys I'm gonna take the camera in out of the rain um, I just gotta it tells me like if it's damp or too hot you know to give me these warnings on the screen so it's telling me it's uh, condensation warning or whatever it said so okay guys so the rain is still coming down pretty steady um, this has been simmering for uh, almost two hours so yeah look at that and since I couldn't use the uh, you know since of course my fire went out because of the rain um, I did add some liquid smoke in here I added a little more it doesn't take a lot but I added a little more than I usually do I put a tablespoon in here and I did add another almost another pound of meat so there's there's uh, about two pounds in here something like that so um, shut the fire off okay it shut off put the lid on here I'm gonna take it inside and eat because I don't wanna my camera's still getting wet okay so alright fires off we're gonna let that sit for a little bit let's take this in the house and we'll try it and see how it tastes alright so we're in the house now I went out and well you guys saw I brought it in um, because the, 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 that umbrella is just for shade. It's not waterproof. And so I didn't want my camera getting more soaked. And I already soaked it once tonight, but it seems to be working all right. So, sorry I couldn't go camping, but, <laughs> oh well. <laughs> so I thought I'd just make a bowl of, make a pan of chili and share with you guys. I got monkey here. She's got a little bit. Mm -hmm. She wants to try it, so... We're going to try it. That's not going to be nothing like when you make it on the fire, people go, well, there's there's no difference because it's just heating the pan. That's not true because every time you take the lid off that chili to stir it, that smoke from that fire is going in there. So yeah, same way it with if you cook on a, on a pan over an open fire, same thing, that smoke is getting in there. But like I said, I didn't have that tonight, that luxury because, well, the rain. So, um, I just added some liquid smoke in there and we're going to give this a shot and see if it's okay. Hot. Hot. But good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Ooh, I took a big bite too and it was hot, hot. I just pulled it off the fire. <laughs> well, it did have a flame. But like I said, that's um, it's just like a stove. It's not really going to flavor it, so that's why I put the liquid smoke in. But um, so you know, want to do something different? What the hell, right? Let's try another bite of this. Mmm, very good. I think. Mhm. Mm that liquid smoke really does. I mean, you can fool some people. I mean, a professional outdoor chef, I don't know if you could fool, but it'd be close. Um, I, I could be fooled by it. The liquid smoke. Because mm -hmm. it tastes like real smoke. Uh -huh. smells like real smoke. It's good. Mm. Yeah, you've used it on a few things, and mm -hmm. it's been good. Yep. Mm. Okay, guys, so thanks for joining me for supper. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's been two hours though, wasn't it? I let that simmer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it was about two hours soon. Yeah. Uh, I let it simmer outside the whole time. So, um, there you go. So anyway, that's my outdoor chili, and I want to say thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> thanks for the new rod and reel monkey. You're welcome. <laughs> if you guys haven't bad. seen that video, check out the one before this. Cause you just had a rough few days. <laughs> Lost your rod and. Yeah. Now you can't camp it, tonight. <laughs> I, I know. I know. I mean, my my damn thing got soaked. And 
I need to get insurance for this camera. I really do. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, it would have been a horrible weekend if it hadn't been for Monkey. <laughs> Monkey always makes it better, so. <laughs> like yesterday, you know, I was just sitting there, you know, like right after this incident happened with my fishing rod, and I was just sitting there, mm. just staring. <laughs> and she goes, I'm sorry you lost your pole, baby. <laughs> She said it so many times. I was like, it's all right, it's not your fault. Mm -hmm. I said, I was just trying to help you. <laughs> then he says, well, you can fish. You can fish. Yeah, I'm I told like, her no, she can fish. I'm not going to fish without Bless her you. heart. She's like, no, I'm not fishing without you. Nope. Then she's like, we can share. I'm like, no, that's all right. <laughs> we'll go cruise around. That's when it got real rough, the water. Yeah, it started. I so. mean, twice we got airborne and I was on an idol. Wow. That's how, that's how rough it got. I mean... So I it was, was best yeah. we came in when we did. Well, I wasn't like, I was off and idle, but, you mm -hmm. know, I mean, if it would have been straight water, we would have done, been doing maybe four miles an hour. Right. So, right. I mean, and it just got bad enough where, I mean, we got airborne twice. Mm. <laughs> and people thought we was doing it on purpose in them big boats. They were like, yeah, whoa. <laughs> like, and we weren't doing it on purpose. No. Uh -uh. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to let Monkey eat her meal and we'll see if mom wants mm -hmm. some so i don't know why monkey told her i was just making it for me for my video <laughs> so we ate something <laughs> else <laughs> well i i meant the only reason why i said you should eat is because i knew this was going to take a while so. so and her stomach was upset the other night so i didn't want anything really spicy for her oh i didn't so i didn't go overboard though no. If I was making it for myself, I would have used a lot more. Mm. But, yeah, it turned out good. Mm -hmm. Anyway, guys, thanks Very for good. watching. Don't forget to check out Monkey 1000 channel. She uploaded a couple good videos here today. Yep. Right? Yep. Well, did you upload them last night? One was last night, and then yeah, I fell asleep today. in yeah. between. So I finished <laughs> the other one this morning. Yeah, because she left her laptop on, and, you know, after it saved, it got done. It makes its noise, and I'm trying to go to sleep for once about 2 o'clock, you know, which is early for me. Uh-huh. And it's usually 4 or 5, and then I get back up when she leaves for work at 8 or 9. But, you know, finally I was like, uh, she's like, yeah, what? I said, can you cover your screen up or something? She goes, oh, my God, I forgot. I, said, well, I was asleep. I said, it's been done for a couple hours now. What didn't you tell me? Because <laughs> she was asleep. I didn't uh, want to bother her. Because mm. <laughs> usually when she does that, we'll put something over the screen. But she fell asleep. So. Mm. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching again. Shea Bear, the Myth Man Legend. I'm going for now. What'd you say, Monk? Very good. Very good, babe. You're always well, good. I mean, for oh. to them guys. Well, Monkey says she's out for <laughs> now, y'all. Bye. Every time. <laughs> Bye guys. Love you, babe. <laughs> Love you too. <laughs> Bye guys. Have a good one.